Good morning, this is uh, Ben Bosma. Today is the 9th of November, uh, 2021, and what I'm looking at here is the 800 CCV twin. So there's some questions about wiring and the fuel system. So let me tell you how we're doing this. Up here I have a fuel tank. The fuel tank has a, a dongle that goes to the bottom of the tank. Looks like there's some pressure in here. I'll remove that. Okay, so the way it works is, is that the dongle goes to the bottom of the fuel tank. I put a gallon of gas in it yesterday. I do have a shutoff valve here. It's shut off now, and here it is open. This is a, uh, a 3 8 hose. It's a little bit, and it's also, uh, by the way, high pressure, even though it doesn't need to be. It goes in to the bottom or the fat side of the uh, fuel pump. This fuel pump is a 12 volt three bar uh, generic fuel pump. I think it is off of uh, some uh, Japanese uh, design in it, but you'll find it on everything. I got it on uh, amazon.com for maybe uh, 30 bucks. This is a quarter inch high pressure line. So it comes in here low pressure, draws it out of the, the tank up here and then down into here up. You see, I drew an arrow to help me. Then uh, I have it running straight through, and it's this line right here. So there's this line. This line goes into what I call the, the rail. The rail is just a, a four-way um, quarter-inch brass fitting, barb fitting, and, uh, and as you can see, connected with this line into the red side. Now, remember that there's a red side, which I painted red so that I I could keep track of the red versus the blue side. It's the only time that you have to be careful about plugs because these plugs here can be switched. I don't know whether it'll affect anything because my understanding is, is that the spark plug uh, sparks on every stroke. So here you have the high pressure fuel coming in and it splits here to form a high pressure uh, supply to the two fuel injectors. Then what it does is you have to have it return. So here's the return side coming in this way and out. And then this is the return. And the return comes through here, okay, and goes into the side fitting of the pressure regulator. You see that into this side, and then it can either come out, uh, you can, there's two sides, right? And both these are high pressure. So this high pressure port on this side is for the, the oil pressure, the fuel pressure gauge, and this is supplying it. This is the, um, the control, right? So you, you actually turn this, clockwise into the regulator. And then what we're looking for is three bar right there, which is somewhere around uh, 44.7 PSI. Okay, then it comes out of here. You see that? Comes out of the regulator and back into the tank. And that's just an open port. It just drips in there. And that's the fuel system. That is all there is to it. Now, I'm gonna turn on the uh, fuel pump so you can hear it. So what I've done here is I've wired up master, okay? And that powers up the system and you can see, you know, the LCD is lighting up. And then uh, I have a separate switch for the fuel pump. We could wire it in to where this turns the fuel pump on, but I opted for this. And as you can hear, it's, it's very loud. Also, notice, there you go. Okay, and as you can see, it's a little bit high right now. So I'll turn it down. Okay, I was just messing with it, and it's just finger tight. And we'll turn it down to three bar, right there. And that's all really it takes, okay? Now, the question asks is, what is this thing? So this little port, is to get pressure off of the the 
uh, air handler right, or the uh, the throttle body right there. You see that? And if I connect it, what it does is it compensates for altitude. We don't have it hooked up. It's not necessary, but it works pretty good.